The Voices of Kentuckiana, hosted by Debbie Crawford. Music by Clay Bufferly. Produced by Len King. Today, we have traveled to Hanover, Indiana, and we're going to visit Hanover College. This college is really unique. It's a hidden treasure that Jefferson County, Indiana has. The professors here are um, not just teachers. They go above and beyond that. The alumni come back continuously to help the students here. We're going to meet some of these people and see what the programs are and the uniqueness that Hanover College has to offer. So come go with us. The first thing that students notice when they come to our campus is how beautiful it is. It's an exceptionally beautiful place with hiking trails and waterfalls. But the real beauty of Hanover are the outcomes that our students achieve when they leave us. And we're very invested in making sure that all of our graduates can make a living, can make a difference in their communities and their workplaces, and also can make a life of meaning and purpose. When we talk about making a living, we're going to do that in two different ways. On the one hand, we're going to combine a great liberal arts education, which is a lifelong transformative experience that allows students to develop skills in communication, oral and written, critical thinking and problem solving, teamwork, and a broad base of knowledge. And then we're going to pair that with a career concentration that allows students to focus on business, on health care, on some aspect of technology, on law. And together, that's going to allow a student to make an immediate impact in their workplace or in a future education after they leave us, but then also be able to continue to grow and learn throughout their career and throughout their lives. But it's not enough for a Hanover graduate just to make a living. They need to make a difference in their communities and in their workplaces. We don't want people who just have jobs. We want them to be leaders in the organizations where they work. And we also want them to be leaders in their community, making a difference and giving back and making their local communities as well as our world a better place. We think that that gives your life purpose and meaning and that's what a Hanover education is all about. Well hi, my name is Molly Dodge and I live here in Madison. Um, I'm a 1998 Hanover graduate and I've been honored with a Young Alumni Achievement Award today, uh, an honor I take very seriously. Uh, my Hanover career has actually taught me how to be a critical thinker. It's taught me how to communicate both in written and an oral form and these are all skills I use every day uh, in my job as a nonprofit organization director. Um, in my work I develop new programs, I uh, keep the data on those programs and I evaluate those programs and I communicate the results and I owe um, my success to what I learned here at Hanover. If a student is considering uh, Hanover, I would say that one of the major benefits is that Hanover is a flexible institution. While at Hanover I was able to have internships, on-campus jobs, I was even able to create my own course of study uh, in one instance to do an independent study with a professor to learn more about nonprofit work. I think Hanover allows, will allow students to design their own course and that was important to me and um, I can't thank Hanover enough for all it's done for me. Brian Gabriel is a 2006 graduate from Hanover College. Um, was a computer science major and really enjoyed the networking aspects of computers and hooking them together, making them you know interconnect and talk and 
right now I own and operate an internet company providing uh, fiber optic services to the home and businesses and small underserved areas in Indiana right now. We're, we're a growing company and one of the nice things about Hanover was it was a small enough college I was able to work with the IT department here in the college and learn how to enter network the computers between students and, and campus services and those things and work with equipment that you know is expensive I can't afford on my own to go out and learn to you know experience but with the college you know being a small college you're able to work with um, people who are actively you know, solving problems in the networking space. So it was a nice feature to have the classroom aspect as well as the uh, hands-on aspect with the um, networking stuff. So really enjoyed that aspect of Hanover and just the nice relationship with professors you could have, just be able to learn and always ask questions and learn things you want to learn, not just what they're teaching you kind of thing. So it was a good experience overall and definitely helped me in my career path and getting to know people and learning more technology. So. My name is Asia Watts. I, I am currently a junior at Hanover College. I'm majoring in communication and a minor in geology. I absolutely love Hanover College. It's probably the best decision I've made in my entire life. I never thought that I would love the small liberal arts um, school. I think that it's great that I have such a connection with my professors. Not every time do you get to say that my professor or my advisor or my administrator invited me over for dinner and we're going to talk about how I can do better in their class, how I can do better in my field, um, better in my, my career. So I think that it's very personable. I love the interactions that we have in class. It's very small. I can say that my biggest class has probably been 20 people. I also never thought that I would use the liberal arts requirements in any part of my field. I would kind of want to go into the PR marketing field and little did I know that I could use a little bit of something from statistics or theology or philosophy in what, I, what it is that I'm doing. So I'm very grateful for Hanover and the staff and administration. They've just been so great to me. Um, hopefully I'll end up somewhere in the PR marketing field upon graduation next year in an oil industry with my geology minor. Oh, my name's Aaron Tobin. I'm a physician scientist at Johns Hopkins uh, University and a clinician at Johns Hopkins Hospital. I graduated from Hanover College in 1998. I was a chemistry major and a minor in biology. Hanover College taught me a lot about thinking rigorously about a topic and also how to express my thoughts. They also uh, made me think more about what I want to be doing in life. While I initially wanted to become a physician, uh, a professor Dr. Walter Brunix encouraged me also to think about research. And it's through that encouragement I became a physician scientist through the, an MD and a PhD uh, program at Case Western Reserve University. I'm indebted to my uh, education and program at, at Hanover College. So hi, I'm Walter Brunings, I'm a professor in Hanover College in biology and I've been doing this for the last 25 years in, in Hanover College since uh, 92, so I've done it for quite a while now. Um, I'm asked what's special about professors in Hanover College, what makes us do the job that we do. Um, I think it's mainly the satisfaction we get to stay with students, to help students out and uh, to think about students' future. Um, I mean, the times are changing very quickly and to prepare students for a changing world, I think is an important uh, thing of our job, of what we do. Um, t today in receiving my award I invited three friends. Um, one was my RA from my freshman year who later became a big sis in my sorority and she and I see each other at least once a year at, at an annual Indy 500 party that her family throws. Um, that my two other friends, we were all freshmen together at Donner Second South, the one of which was my freshman roommate. We didn't even know each other, we were paired together and the fact that we are I think better friends now than we even were then when we lived together. Uh, our kids went to the same daycare. Um, we, we still try to get together as much as we can. Um, so I think it's, it's just really great. It's not just, uh, they're not just college friends, it's really a Hanover family. And I heard that said several times a day during the award ceremony, uh, but it really is a lasting uh, Hanover family. I think because the college is so small that the friendships and community continues long after you leave.
Um, my name is Jimmy Dro, class of 2011, Hanover College, and I studied health and movement studies while I was at Hanover. Um, I'm a corporate fitness manager now at Eli Lilly through the National Institute for Fitness and Sport. And um, really more than anything, even beyond the actual studies here at Hanover, the ability to tell a story and the ability to articulate an idea uh, is really what I learned at Hanover, I would say, more than anything. Uh, the ability to lead others and be empathetic and open-minded has truly helped me in the workplace and in life. Uh, if I was going to tell somebody who was considering a college, you know, a high school senior, I would say look for an institution that's not only going to focus on your education, but they're going to focus on um, developing you as a person. And you're definitely going to get that at Hanover College. Uh, Hanover College is a network like none other, and I can't recommend it more. You know, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of students or a lot of um, high school students who live in rural parts of the Midwest. I, I myself, I'm not from the Midwest, but I come from a very rural area in northern Utah. Um, and so, coming, you know, almost out of your comfort zone, first of all, I think it's part of the college experience. Um, it's coming to, um, it's in a smaller community, so you, um, it's a you know, friendly environment where you can talk to people and you feel comfortable. However, it's a respected, well-known, you know, academic institution that has access. To, you know, they throw out the statistics that we're within a day's drive of three quarters of the country's population. And so, you know, within a couple hours, you can easily go to, to Louisville, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, you know, half a day's drive to Chicago and Nashville. Uh, the centrality of this place, of, of, of Hanover College, really allows you to get the best of both worlds. Um, and so, so someone from a, a rural community um, can really feel comfortable, feel safe, so be it, but we still have the access to both the, the academic experience here but also the experience of larger cities. Hi, I'm Phil Mullins. I'm a graduate of Hanover College, class of 1972. I studied uh, political science and uh, I played varsity basketball and track when I was here. Uh, I went on from Hanover to study um, in graduate school at Ball State, pursuing another degree in political science and social science education. However, I took a career path into the travel business, doing corporate uh, meetings and incentive programs, uh, which has taken me to 140 countries around the world. Uh, part of that was inspired by my uh, service uh, as an intern. We studied at the United Nations my junior year at Hanover. It gave me an incredible wealth of, of experience. I even got to work uh, in my first job in the travel industry and hospitality by working at the Grand Central YMCA for uh, that term in New York all those years ago. But most of all, it's been an incredible experience now serving as the uh, president of the Alumni Association. So we can do all sorts of services to reach out to prospective uh, students, as well as bringing uh, our, our alumni back and giving them a reason to be involved in the college's um, recruiting and development efforts. Uh, I divide my time between uh, Chicago and here in Madison, where uh, I've owned a historic home here with my wife for several years. And we'd love to have the opportunity to, to encourage everyone in the area uh, throughout Kentuckiana to have their uh, sons, daughters, nieces, and nephews consider Hanover College. It's a real gem here in the, in the valley, uh, in the Ohio Valley, and uh, we'd love to see you come. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Kelly Park, and she's one of the alumni from Hanover College. And some of the things that she thinks are really special are some of the things that she does every day that she learned at Hanover College, and what are those? Um, I graduated in 2001. Yes. I am an anesthesiologist practicing at Schneck Medical Center in Seymour, Indiana. Uh, things that I have taken with me from Hanover College are um, critical thinking, how to learn how to learn, 
uh, the med medical practice is changing on really a daily basis, so it's important for me to be able to read and understand the medical literature, think critically, and then apply that to my practice. Right. And then some of the books that you use are actually books you said that you had here at Hanover College. That's right. Uh, when I matriculated to medical school in 2001, uh, many of the books that I used in the first two years, such as immunology, uh, biochemistry, mm -hmm. uh, I used those books at Hanover College, so I didn't even didn't even repurchase those, just kept the ones I had. Oh, well. Now, some of the things you'd like other students to know that are thinking about going to college, what are those things about Hanover that you think are special and important to know? Um, specifically for science, Hanover really prepares you to think critically on uh, in the next level. Uh, really, uh, we use a lot of the same uh, uh, a lot of the same courses, a lot of the same right. uh, ways of critically thinking about uh, biology, chemistry that you'll use uh, in uh, your medical practice that you'll use in medical school and then even in graduate school. Oh, wow. Well, is there anything else we need to tell everybody? Give Hanover a, a serious look, a, a serious, serious consideration. A serious consideration.